Hello, it's a beautiful day in these Illinois streets. I'm about to run some errands. What's happening, my day mate? What is going on in my world today? Well, I'm going to elaborate on the last video about me taking a mental break from school. And um, main reason is that I had some a disturbing, com not even disturbing, I had a conversation with a friend of mine. And this is a while ago, maybe like earlier this week, because it's Friday. It's Friday, August 16th. Yes. Um, I had a conversation with this individual because um, I put on Facebook that I was basically taking a mental break from school. Um, my mind is not checked into school this year. I have to take a break. So this friend, I, I called her one day to see how she was doing. And she was like, well, I saw your post saying that um you taking a break from school why because i need to focus on other things and school is not one of them at the moment i can't force myself to go to school and continue to go to school because if i continue not to do so well i'm not that, that's a waste of money on my part a waste of time so i have to focus on other things so long story short she basically was like i'm in school and i have three kids so what is your excuse again? And I'm looking like. Off with the head! Off with the head! Off with his head! Off with the head! What do your kids got to do with you going to school? What do your kids got to do with you going to school? And and I say that not as like. Well, you because I would think you would want to better yourself for your kids for yourself for your life and all this all that good stuff that yes but what is you bringing your kids in our conversation has to do with me so i'm just like okay um why are you bringing up your kids and basically she was like well who's that oh orthopedics um basically i'm going to school and I have kids. You should have no excuse. You ain't got no kids. You should be. You should be good. And I'm looking like you don't know what's going on in my brain, do you? You 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 really you, you really don't care. Like you really don't get it. But my problem with people that put their kids up in a situation, they try to one up you. That's what it's called. One up. Like well. I can't take the school. I can't take this or whatever. And then they'll one up you. But I got three kids or something like that. And this person knows I was going to talk about this. So I'm just not mentioning this person's name. But it, it was just like I told her, I'll holler at you later. So a few hours go by. I get a text message from her. And she was like, I apologize. I may have went out of line. But you don't understand, you know, I have three kids and I'm doing it and everything else. And my thing is, and I called her, I didn't text her. I called her. I said, I am proud of you that you are doing it with your kids. And I know life is hectic trying to get all this stuff done with your children and yourself and working. I understand, but do not throw your kids in the mix to try to make me feel like shit because I don't have any children and I should be doing it and I should be um be a doctor or whatever the hell you want to say I should be doing and she was she basically was like well I just don't understand because you don't understand the stress of having kids no I don't understand the stress of having kids I do not no but the main point I was making to this girl is that you cannot throw your kids in the mix in an argument like that. You can't. I'm not going to say, well, since she got kids, I might as well go to school because I can do it if she can do it. No, you, you are mentally determined to get it done at this point in time. I'm not mentally prepared to get it done right now. I got to work on one thing at a time and I have to work on my health 
because I can still be going to school and probably catch a heart attack tomorrow because of my weight. So I need to get one thing at a time. So my health is important to me right now. Like what a lot of people don't know is I've been going to school since um, August of 2015. We are in 2019 and I'm not done yet because I went a month after my father passed, okay? I had a series of unfortunate events happen since 2013. Um, and it was going on up until, what, last year? So I was still trying to make it through school. I had to drop a semester when my grandma got sick, went back to it, and in that middle of that time, maybe like 2017, I decided I'm going to full-heartedly get my weight down. So going to school and trying to work out was a lot for me. And obviously that wasn't that didn't work because I'm still fat. The only difference is when I started it, I had got up to my highest, which was like I think it was like 315. Please don't quote me, but it was around that. But I had um I have not been up back up to that high the closest i have been is like three three hundred even and i will congratulate myself for not getting back up to my highest but there is so many times you can use that as an excuse to be like well i didn't get back to my highest weight like who the fuck wants to keep throwing that i can't get back to no you can't keep doing that you can you can you can improve but I'm not going to hang on to the past and talk about, well, at least I didn't get to my highest weight again. Like, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to keep continue to go down. So, therefore, something had to go on the back burner. And I have been putting myself on the back burner before school. I've been putting myself on the back burner for years. I've been taking care of somebody for years. And my all this has been doing is I've been letting my health decline. And that's not fair to me. So therefore, I will be putting myself first. I will be getting my um, weight in checked, and I will get my weight down to a reasonable weight that I am comfortable with. Because at this at this weight that I am, I am not comfortable. I don't. My everything hurts at times, and and that's why I don't understand what the fat positive movement or body acceptance and there are people that's there that the in this this fat acceptance movement that are way bigger than I am and they just like well you should feel good at any size otherwise you just hate yourself just because I want to lose weight doesn't mean I hate myself but whatever girl do you feel but with that being said, with me, me going back to our conversation, um, with that being said, with me and her, we always gonna be cool. We always get back and forth into it because you know this ain't the first time she didn't put her kids into an argument. And then with that, some people y'all need to be mindful of throwing your kids in the mix of uh, with people that don't have kids. You don't know the story behind that. Like, you don't know. Like, you can't be like, well, you should be cool because you ain't got no kids and everything else. You don't know if that person has been trying to have a baby and they can't have a baby. Like me, I don't give a damn. I mean, I have issues with my uterus and I've been having that that's issues for a long time. Yes, I do believe my weight is the problem. That's another reason why I want to get my weight down. It's not about having a baby. It's about the fact that I... Don't I feel the, the the my age right now? I should not be going through what I'm going through. So therefore, I need to get my weight down. So you don't know what's going on. You don't know if they can't have a baby and they've been trying, or just like somebody with no kids, like oh, her, her kid, they bad as hell. You don't know the stress behind that. You don't know the stress of what's going on behind their behind closed doors in their house. Like a lot of people just, there is no compassion in the world anymore. Just people just, just, just want to win arguments and, and one up somebody. Just, it just don't make any sense. So, with we, but it's just, 
don't really make any sense. I'm tired of having to defend or why I don't have any kids or why um why I, I'm I'm done with school right now and everything else. I have to work on one thing at a time and I'm choosing me. I have to choose me. I I, I have to choose I only got the one life that I'm living right now. So I just wanted to really get that off my chest with with that being said, not saying that nothing wrong with having babies. Babies, I love babies, especially if they're chunky little babies. Yes, I love me some chunky little babies, but not necessarily that I need to have my own. Like, I don't have to have children to be stressed out. People have stress. People stress out. So I'm not understanding why some people want to one up you and be like, well, I got kids. So, what are you complaining about? That's stupid. That is beyond stupid. So, I just wanted to kind of get that off my chest. Now, I'm going to watch the documentary. I think it's called Fatopia. I think that's what it's called. I'm going to look that up. And it's on Netflix. I will watch it. And I will do a video on it soon. I'm just waiting for my camera to come in because... Number one, I'm not doing it on, I had bought a camera not too long ago, and that camera came from China, Japan, one of them. Japan got a lot of stuff on us, but that camera was not it, so therefore, mama had to just get her a name brand camera, it is coming soon, and um, I will have a camera to get my, my, my um, phone a break from all that so i will be recording on my new camera soon so i just want to chat out with y'all and end my week with a little conversation in the car so if you like you know what to do i'm gonna put it at the bottom of the screen um and you know what i always say let me stop my car stay true stay you and i holla back at you boom